So up next, we have Peter Boy. He's going to talk about Fedora Docs, plans for the future, how you can contribute. We're just doing a little bit of tech setup here for um, his laptop. OK. Does someone has a Fedora sticker at hand so I can hide the, the Apple sign? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, it's already online. I need my manuscript, sorry. Uh. Ooh. Oh. So. Yeah, well, I'm Peter Boy, uh, you can read. And that's the first. So, sorry. Um, it's the first time I'm in an, at an in-person Fedora meeting, so probably some, some words about me. I'm working as a scientist at the University of Bremen, no Red Hat, no <laughs> whatever. Um, I graduated in sociology as a first and as a minor in applied mathematics. Uh, that was the home of computer science uh, those days, and statistics. And well, because of that, my colleagues thought I was a perfect person to care about our department's computer equipment. <laughs> and it grew and, it grew and grew because we were funded as an excellence um, research collective. So we had our own equipment. We had freedom from the university, IT. And uh, the side job grew and grew too. Well, at the end, I ended with uh, 24 or so servers and hardware. At the end, all of them in Fedora server. And um, well, and I began to contribute to Fedora thanks to Matthew's reboot of the server of a I wanted to. Um, spend some of our internal Fedora documentation to Fedora. That was a starting point. Well, um, nowadays I do a lot of more <laughs> than contributing docs. And when Ben a year ago started the reboot, the docs team, which was dormant for many years in that time, I came to the crazy idea <laughs> to join the docs team as well. And um, well, now I'm the member of the board and the only one who is regularly available. Uh, okay, so it could be better. Well, let's start. What's in it? Uh, oh, God. Hmm. Some pages didn't work with the equipment here and other pages. Okay, so, so <laughs> um, wonderful, the IT technology. Um, well, let's start with a um, short analysis where we are, where we stand, where we are standing. Um, it's not a secret. The, state of the docs in Fedora, um, there's a lot to wish for, let's say it that way. We are suffering in, with the docs team for many years. Until recently, we had online our docs from Fedora 18 onwards or so. And if you skip through the docs release by release, you could see from release to release the number of documents which Compose the docs got uh, less, and sometimes any time it's ended with just two. It was a installation guide, and it was the, um, the administration guide. Well, but as a scientist, I try to make analyses. <laughs> the, the idea was: is it not a coincidence that we have such a um, 
uh, how to put it, not a bad state, but a, a state which uh, has many open wishes. Uh, it must be a, a structural issue. And the thesis is we have a weak integration of DOCS into the Fedora project and into the Fedora development. There are several signs of it. Uh, is it here? Okay. Oh, you, you may see and compare some starting points of several distributions. It is Fedora, it is Rocky Linux and Arc Linux, or how they are pronounced. And maybe um, you notice a difference between them, but we don't want to make a, a guessing play here. If you compare them, you see these quite successful uh, distributions have all a document link in the main part of the website. Besides Fedora, it doesn't. We have no document link in our website. It's a weak indicator, but an indicator of docs is not in the main objective of Fedora, of the Fedorians. Um, and if you have a look at our procedures, e.g. we have a lot of um, regularities, a lot of decision chains uh, to make a, um, a package. All these decision chains handle about technical, technical issues. There is no requirement to have a doc. At least, at we, at, for instance, in the description field for the package, that there is a link to any kind of description. And, um, or even worse, we have additions. We have a lot of, regular, of, a lot of procedures to, have it, to make it this uh, addition. It's a product document requirement. You have to specify the marketing chances and you have to specify the user base, the probable. But you don't have to have a documentation. We have no issues to distribute our flagship, our lighthouse um, distributables without documentation available. Fortunately, most of our editions have a documentation, but that I think is more by coincidence than by system, systematical um, issues. Um, but the problem is this, this, this weak integration, we, I think we can't, um, it's a long standing, more than a decade, we can change that in the foreseeable future. And as far as I know, Matthew can talk about it, documentation was no uh, topic in the current next Fedora discussion, I suppose. Um, Yeah, yeah. So, oh, next chance is 2030 or so, flash probably. <laughs> I was saying, uh, we had documentation as one of the points somewhere, and then it ended up falling out in one of the reorganizations, but there's kind of a bucket of here are the things we didn't know what to do with, where should they go, that's gonna be part of the you know, that conversation. Uh, but yeah, you're right, it's not been a focus, except there is one section, like the accessibility documentation has a, a call out, but that's kind of about the documentation we have already, rather than making it a specific focus. Uh, oh, I have to hurry. Um, well, this the state of our documentation has some, I suppose, not fortunate effects of our distribution as a whole. For instance, we are hiding all our excellent technical uh, capabilities because without documentation, nobody sees it. And many uh, Fedorian want to, have, for instance, uh, set up a web server, they don't find any documentation, and start with documentation uh, from Debian or whatever they are finding, and wondering because why, why it doesn't work. And uh, the thing is, okay, Fedora doesn't work. Or Fedora is rated as difficult to use, and some decide then to switch to another uh, distribution. 
that's a negative effect um, in the long run, among others. Um, we could, I think we could fix it without too much work. The minimum could be to uh, change our um, um, no, package, package guides to include some kind of documentation. It's new for the packages. Oh, no, it isn't new. Uh, we are used to do that with change proposals. It's, I had to read double time or three, but yes, we have in our change proposals a section about documentation and to um, explain our users what to do. So our packages are not uh, so unused to documentation, maybe in the long run we have a chance um, to, uh, well, to improve the situation. Well, that's the general consequences. We have, uh, well, it's um, the, 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 the gist of it. We hide all our excellent engineering results because we have no documentation, no one find, find, finds it. Well, and we have um, an effect of our documentation tools themselves. We switched uh, some time ago from um, DocBook and uh, Publican, was it, to ESCIDoc and, um, and Tora, and a Git workflow. And the problem is that is a workflow that is fine for developers, but not fine for those here who are dedicated writers. I don't know from any public publisher who asks for a Git repository or asks for ASCII doc. That's the, the different uh, workflows. And the workflow has a lot to desire because, for instance, at the moment we have no uh, pre pre preview tool, so you are writing docs without having uh, uh, see your, the, the presentation of the content. And unfortunately, if you are writing docs, there is an interdependence between the content and the presentation of the content. And so our tools are missing a very important um, element of, of writing. Well, and we have a kind of quandary at the moment. We have a workflow which is perfect for developers and we are in urgent need of developers who write documentation. Or we have people who want to write documentation and have a huge barrier in, in form of the Git and workflow with um, uh, the pull request workflow, which is quite uh, un well, unknown to them. And this is a, a really a problem. After Ben started the reboot of the, um, of the docs group, we managed to get eight new contributors over the one year. Well, currently the age, the eight one is a zero again. So we are after one year nearly at the same point as we started a year ago with the Ben's initiative. I don't know the exact reasons, but involved in all cases were issues with the workflow and with the JITLAB um, uh, user interface, which is nice and powerful, but 80% of is unneeded for documentation. And we have no um, op options at the moment, as I got to know, to, to simplify for docs. So we have a new, we have one barrier um, dropped and have built a new one. No, nevertheless, we, we can not wait until we have a better integration. We might have to do some uh, things in the, in the time we have. Um, so we started, or I started, to evaluate how we can improve documentation with the circumstances as they are. And well, we, are, we uh, took three Yes, the two ways. The one way is to fix document structure. The most, most problem is in the document structure was it was perfect for Fedora 10, but all the changes we made with the last Fedora Next to, to uh, create the additions 
didn't, well, didn't went to the documentation. We had, we had, had the unified installation guide, which uh, should be valid for all our for all our distributables, but it wasn't. So, oh, sorry, this is, uh, this is schwierig here. Um, well, so we exchanged the docs homepage, um, and I wrote a blog uh, post about the change we made, and we adopted the, the structure of our documentation to the structure of our um, distribution. And uh, well, we had a, we, we resolved some documentation problem with that. The responsibilities for the edition, for the editions is now the edition workgroup. And the edition workgroup should be familiar with the GitLab workflow and pull request workflow. So it seems it's not a problem for them, I hope so, to make the proper, um, to, write, to, to create the proper documentation. Um, can we, oh, if I better. Okay, that's with, um, coming with Fedora release 27. We changed the, the home page. Um, in the, uh, just uh, wait a moment. Ah, you can see a bit more. We, ha we have uh, just the introductionary part, first part at the, at the top, and in the center of the page are our editions, or editions to be, in case of um, in in, 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 uh, silver blue it is. And we have, we have an opportunity to add some of our goodies, these quick docs, for example, or a specific uh, box for the, uh, for the ARM computers, for SBITs, for single board computers, which is currently a discussed topic. Well, there was some, uh, I, I skipped that, sorry. <laughs> um, the, the other way was to improve, to make the contribution easier for our users. And the way that was, the first step was as documentation team, we documented the procedures. So we created documentation about how to contribute to um, Fedora. And we concentrated on quick docs because this type of content um, which is not so complex and not so um, huge as contribution as installation guide for edition. And so it's easier for users to start to contribute to. And um, well, we developed this, this uh, documentation, how to do it. We, um, we developed some templates for creating a quick doc document and various, unders, well, the various under others um, helpful material so we hope it is easier to do that. I sk skip all the, uh, the details at the moment. We are trying to demonstrate these things in our workshop sessions on Friday, I suppose, somewhere. So we can demonstrate the things in detail and we can um, hopefully get feedback if we did a good documentation or a bad one, for instance. Well, Another st step is we have to improve our doc tools. Um, specifically, we need a text processing option for uh, ASCII docs documentation with a preview or a Visivic interface. The only one I found at the moment is ASCII doc.fx, doc yes. And um, well, we need developers to develop our <laughs> documentation tools, and that's a long-term goal. It's not for the next two Fedora editions or so. But what we already have in the um, in work 
is to automate our, the generation of our release nodes. So release nodes suffer from the same issue as our user documentation. From release to release, the percentage of changes which were included in the release nodes are going down. And to help, therefore, we are going to automate that, probably not with the next, but with over next. Okay, that's a short overview with some technical issues. <laughs> and um, yeah, but we have time for questions, I think. It's not me, it's she. <laughs> Hi. Um, so you mentioned there are some, I suppose, issues with people onboarding in terms of like learning the Git workflow and that kind of thing. Do you think there's an issue with the documentation format? So ASCII doc over something like Markdown, which is a bit more ubiquitous? No, not, AS not ASCII doc. It's a, it's a tool issue. Okay. A tool on the workflow issue. Workflow issue. All of these, well, it, it is a, it was, were users without development, development experience, but some of them were dedicated writers, so the problem was not to make a text. The problem was to get the text uh, in, the, in, our, in, in, uh, in our documentation. And it was additional work for them, that's a problem. And, um, well, it was not attractive enough. I'm not... Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm uh, zuversichtlich, what is the German word? I, I think we can fix that, <laughs> but it's additional work well, on our side, or on my side. Oh, well, just a little comment on the workflow. So I've been involved in publishing lately, and the process that people use, like the professional writers, in air quotes, uh, without Git, it's a living hell, <laughs> to be fair. And uh, I believe that spreading uh, the Git-based workflow is actually uh, an ad good for everyone, uh, for uh, non-developer writers as well, because the process uh, can spread around and they can bring it to, with them to other projects. Maybe. My problem, problem is the guys are away. <laughs> I would like to have it. And all of them struggled with the workflow um, and, and the, the additional work. That's, uh, well, and, well, my goal at the moment is to make it easier for them, to provide better guidance. Um, for instance, we, plan, we are planning uh, for virtual shared writing sessions, for, well, we have someone at hand during the session who can fix problems or can explain them, but we have additional um, work to do. Oh. And, uh, okay, so I, I have no problem with the, with the JIT workflow. I do that myself in our projects. That's not a problem. But um, uh, the, yeah, the non-development defined users are not, not, they are not the problem, but they have the problem. So, oh, Well, it, it may be a bit of a shameless plug, but in virus our distro, so when we switched from MediaWiki to Sphinx and Git, uh, the community of documentation developers actually exploded. So sometimes I wonder if it may be uh, just an issue of marketing that workflow to people or attracting the right kind of people. Yeah, I think, well, if I, if I come read what they have written, they, it were the right people, content-wise, at least. And... Um, well, it's, uh, I'm quite ha unhappy, what is it, I said, <laughs> to have lost them. It's, um, they were unable to write qualitative high-level documentation. Do you think it might be worthwhile to, so I like having everything consolidated in one tool, but do you think it might be worthwhile to move something like the Quick Docs to a, another system like a dedicated wiki or even to um, solving all my problems with discourse, using the discourse as a docs plugin that was markdown based. Um, if we, would it, might it make no. sense to have a different, like easy format docs that people could use? Um, or would you, would you think it's better to keep yes, it all in one we, place? The, 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 there were some people who proposed to go back to Wiki. I don't think it's, it's, it's a solution. 
We should have a unified system for normal dogs and quick dogs. We have to refer back and forth. Um, it, it's a matter of, of presentation to the public. I think it's not a good idea. The, the counter example is the arm um, area. They, have, and they are only on wiki and it's hard to find them because it doesn't fit into our documentation structure. And so my, my um, what is the Krücke in German? It's a help, my, my helping stick to make a box for the arm on the, uh, on the, on the wiki, on our main page. So to have a topic which is highly discussed at the moment, uh, well, you have to offer something about it. And so I'm more on the trip uh, make it easier to use the workflow and um, and hoping on the council, council that we get a better integration <laughs> in the long run. So, And I hope that our um, our repository, I don't know, Pagua, Pagua, I don't know how to pronounce. However you want. Okay. <laughs> um, that we keep can keep that because it's, that it's much easier with the workflow because it's much less powerful, okay? But all that we use for need for documentation is there. So um, it's meant hopefully you can use it for some years. For, for what it's worth, um, I, uh, Jolene, who is a lawyer at Red Hat, who is awesome, but you not a not a coder, not um, sh she's not uh, she's not non-technical, but she's like she's a, she's a lawyer, right? Um, and uh, she found it, so I convinced her that she should you know, use her docs process for the new Fedora Legal page. She didn't want to use the wiki, um, and uh, she found Pagger too hard to use, but oh. was happy with the, with GitLab. Uh, once you figured it out, she thought it was much, much easier. So that's my one other yeah. data point there. Um, I think also if we had a dedicated GitLab, we could configure some of it to turn all of that stuff off so we could have a much simpler, like at least a section that's much simpler. Um, but, you know, that's, we have to figure out how to get to something like that. Uh, I'm sorry I'm throwing stream of conscious thoughts at you here, but. Um, there's also, there's a stalled thing in GitLab where they are looking at having an ASCII doc preview in addition to the markdown preview, which would probably help, but that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, but maybe that's something we could invest in working on as a... Well, there is this is a Java program, ASCII, ASCII doc FX, is it? Um, they have a, some working, uh, editing, um, tools in the menu, like any text processing uh, things, and they have a pre preview, and you can plug in your own CSS, so with some um, effort we can, can, we can uh, use it for our own CSS at, at part of the minute. Yeah, it'd be nice to have that edit like, into the Git yeah. Forge tool entirely, so I don't know, maybe if um, you know, people do end up investing more in Pagger development, we could solve both of those problems and may maybe make it have that preview. Okay. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Well, never, nevertheless, before we go, I'm still on the trip to make documentation in Fedora better and to try hard to get it done. So, um, although I'm some, some, sometimes I'm a bit desperate about, uh, I have to sleep at night and then it's okay. It's, thank you very much. And just stop that's only crazy, so that's all complicated.